distinguished careers in Filipino music industry between the three of you. How did your respective stories, your career stories begin? Just very, very quickly, like a summary. Paano respectively nag-start yung mga career nyo, yung story niya? Uh, okay, for example, uh, naghanap ako ng trabaho right after graduating from high school because uh, uh, kailangan ng tulong ng pamilya ko. So we were, uh, I, I think, like many of us, we struggled very hard and uh, para na matulungan natin yung pamilya. Sorry. Sorry. Para matulungan yung family na. So, yun ang pinaka-impetus kung paano ka nag-umpisa. Naghanap ako ng trabaho, naghanap, naghanap ako ng mga auditionan, naghanap ako ng uh, mapupuntahan para mag-discover. Masyado mga ba yung kwento? So, basahin yung kung paano ako nag-discover. <laughs> That was a start. And now we're sitting with the National Artist for Music, Maestro Ryan Kayabia. Ako may klila, accidental lang talaga sa akin. Uh, hindi, ako, hindi ko alam na magiging singer pala ako. Um, akala ko magiging beauty queen ako. So, uh, so okay. hindi, accidental talaga lang. Um, I, I was already a mother of two. Um, talagang parang nailagay ako sa position ko. Oh, thank you, God, for that beautiful accident. Now we have an accidental icon sitting here with us, Sir Basin. I started my career in 1970 as a folk singer. Uh, so it's a, a place called Up There Singles Club in uh, uh, Padre Faura. And then I joined the circus band for five years. So, and then I met Ryan in 1977, and he helped me uh, produced my first album, which is Kaya Nat Kailan Man, so you know, history and a half. So. Thank you for letting us in in those stories. Now, going back to our